All right, let's go from the collegiate to the high school level. There were quite a few high school football games today. I'm going to start you out at Wilson, where the Mustangs of West Mesa took on the Eagles of El Dorado. Beautiful day for football in El Dorado's homecoming. Yeah, yeah. Yep, the fans showed up and so did the band, but let's get to it. 7 to nothing, El Dorado first quarter, but the Mustangs have it inside the 10. Elias Akers gets the handoff and takes this one into the house. Mustangs tie up the game after the PAT. McMath and the Mustangs look like they could stop this Eldo defense offense early, but Eagles have Zach Gentry. He goes for the handoff. Running back isn't there. He looks confused, doesn't know where to go, but there's a reason this kid's going to Texas. Check out the arm. Makes the connection to Tanner Haltham. And yep, that eagle was soaring in the point box. Over 60 yards on the play. Eldo wins it 45 to 7. And they are now 3 0 on the year. All right, let's take a party down south. Onyate hosted Cleveland today at the Field of Dreams first quarter. The Desert Storm strike first. Quarterback Gabe Ortega scores 19 yard keeper. And yep, 7 0 lead. Then the junior QB shows off his arm strength, loading up and throwing it deep to Marcus Williams for a 37 yard completion to end the first quarter. That would set up Aaron McShann from five yards out for the score and the 14-0 lead. And the Storm would take this one. They better their record of 2-1 and one on the year as they top the Knights 35-24. to 24. All right, let's head over to Milne for some 5A football. The 2-0 Sartans hosted the 0-2 Gallup Bengals, and this one was all St. Pius. Play action, Drew Ortiz scrambles to his right. On the run, makes a beautiful pass to Gabe Baca. Baca gets a block, and he would take this one for the touchdown. Put him on the board, the Sartans. Offense was just explosive today against Gallup, and yet the Bengals just couldn't get anything going as they almost threw an interception here. They would have to call this one in the third quarter due to the mercy rule. St. Pius stays undefeated and wins it 50 to nothing. Here are some other scores across the board. The Jags of Atrisco beat the Wildcats in a close one and are now 1-2 on the year, and Academy took out Bernalito 43 to nothing.